Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about using iframes in HTML. An iframe is an HTML element that's actually able to display another website inside of your web page. So you can effectively embed an entirely different website inside of your own web page, which is pretty cool. So you can create an iframe tag pretty much anywhere in your site, and it's just iframe like that, and then we need to pass this one attribute, which is a source. And this is gonna be like the website that you wanna embed. So in my case, why don't we just do the Draft Academy website. And then I can close off this iframe tag. And you're also gonna need a closing iframe tag. So you're gonna need one over here. And now inside of these iframe tags, you can put some text. And this is text that's gonna get displayed if the user that's on your website can't view iframes. So maybe their browser just like doesn't support iframes or maybe they, you know, have some option toggled where it doesn't view iframes. Basically this code would be displayed to them if they can't view it. So now when I head over here, I can refresh this page and you'll notice that inside this little window, the Draft Academy homepage is displaying, but it's like super small. So if you want, you can come down here and we can resize these iframes. So I can give this a width attribute and we'll just make it a thousand. And I can also give it a height attribute and we can make this like 800. So now this iframe should display a lot bigger, right? So now I can see the whole website. And so this website is literally embedded inside of my website. So I can go to all the different pages of the website. It works just like a normal website would, but it's inside of our website. So another thing you can do is you can control the border. So if you look here on this iframe, you can see there's like a little border around here. It's like this little gray bar. It's kind of hard to see, but if you want to get rid of that, there's another attribute we can pass in. We can just say frame border is equal to zero. And now this will get rid of that little border. So the iframe will just be like even more embedded inside of the website. Now iframes are really great and you can pretty much use an iframe for any website. But one thing that a lot of websites will do, a lot of like big websites is they'll prevent other websites from using their websites as iframes. So like if I tried to make this um, iframe for like Amazon, for example, amazon.com, then when I refresh the page, you'll see that nothing shows up, right? I'm not able to use Amazon as an iframe. And that's because they have some setting toggled where they don't allow their website to be used as an iframe. And kind of for good reason, I mean, one of the problems or one of the dangers of iframes is that someone else's website could pose as another person's website. So I could create a website and just have an iframe of Amazon's website in my website and I could trick people into going to my website and they would just think it's Amazon, right? So they'd be like, oh, I'm on Amazon, this is cool. Meanwhile, they're on my website and I could like take their data or you know, do something malicious to them. So that's one reason why people wouldn't wanna have iframes. And it kind of makes sense. But in my case, like for draftacademy.com, like I have no problem letting people iframe that. So it's available to me. So yeah, that's the basics of iframes. Like I said, you know, you can resize them, you can move them around and they can be a really useful feature in your website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.